G'day, this is BK3UCD. Welcome to the uh, fin event at Maligal, 26th to the 10th, 2019. Uh, let's move that out. There's the old building, the old school building. John Flynn's father taught. Anyway, we'll have a look around. Been raining, but seems to have cleared at the minute. Hmm. Well, they've got the uh, campfire going over here. Yeah. Let's just go for a look inside. Graham at the uh, at the mic there at the radio station. Uh, people there. Yeah. professionals there. <laughs> a bit of a view of the radio station set up by Barry. Yeah. Call sign is VK3FLYNN Flynn. Radio gear. Got a bit of a projection thing going in. Here with amateur radio. Let's do a pan view of the area there. There we go. More pictures. A few more posters down here. Ooh. Picture of uh, John Flynn there. There you go. When he was a bit younger, I'd say. Yeah. Some of the marquee set up outside. Hmm. Tater man there. Museum group over here. Mm. There's a bloke here, it's a big camera shy. So <laughs> I got the camera running, Steve. Steve Barnum from Denali, there you go. You can tell That's he's very. my camera. It is, yeah. Hopefully, Hopefully it's, close it's to get working. In focus. It is recording. <laughs> Look at their marquee over there. Good review. Yeah. That's about it at the moment. Still a few people turning up, so. Yeah. Anyway. Pretty good, nice old building. So we thank you all for coming, and I'm not sure 
Are we passing on to Neil? No. Yes, somewhere. <coughs> ah, hiding up behind me. <laughs> Good on you, Neil. I'm going to pass on to Neil. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to speak to you this morning. My name is Neil Patton. I am the president of the Bendigo Debit and Radio and Electronics Club. Uh, we are here at the invitation of the um, Goldfields Historical Society and the Reserve uh, Committee of the Ligal. And we are very pleased indeed to make ourselves available to you today. Bendigo Amateur Radio and Electronics Club is committed to what we call technological literacy in society. That is to say, the understanding and informed use of technology. There's no age barriers to this. We educate children, we educate adults, we educate women, we educate the disabled. Anybody who is able to use technology uh, we are interested in helping them to learn more about it. Our interest today uh, with John Flint is that a hundred years ago, or thereabouts, John Flint recognised the introduction of two crucial pieces of technology that were new, aviation and radio. He recognised the use of these two technologies in a particular environment which was the Australian environment and a particular social need, which was long distance communication and isolation. Aviation and radio were both able to overcome the tyranny of distance which isolated people from one another. John Flynn, in our minds, was a visionary who brought these two things together to overcome a critical social requirement of his time and we recognise him and salute him for that. Our participation today, uh, as John pointed out, is at the new introduction of the new $20 note. We have been issued by the Australian Communications and Media Authority with a special event call sign, VI3FLYNN. That call sign will exist only for four days and the centrepiece of the event is here today. Our amateur radio station uses VI3FLYNN right at this moment. We are communicating with people up and down the East Coast and hopefully to New Zealand, across to Tasmania, and if we're very lucky, uh, some overseas countries as well, if the conditions are What else can I tell you? Fly by at noon. Fly by. Ah, right, the flyby. Now, the flyby, my last word, and I, I'm <laughs> going to say it again, the flyby is up in the air. Uh, if that is to say it may very well happen, in which case it will be up in the air, or uh, the conditions are a bit fluctuating and uh, it may not be the case at all. So we are fingers crossed on the flyby at this stage. That's the latest information we have, um, but it's out of our hands. So if we hear aircraft going over, everybody stand out in the open and wave, yes. that would be terrific. Our display today uh, recognises uh, the uh, history of radio over the last century, and in particular the participation of women in radio communications over the last hundred years. This is a story that we're very proud to tell, because it is not well told, or often enough told. So. Um, the geeky looking guys in the hall are the radio amateurs, they're not that hard to spot. Um, some of them have got labels and call signs and hats on them or they're sitting there with headphones on, that's them. Um, feel free to tap them on the shoulder, ask them any question you like. Uh, they'll give you an answer and if they get, you're happy with that answer, ask another one, you'll get a better one. All right? Um, yeah, it's you a might, pleasure you might to speak. about the QSL card. Oh it's yes, thank you. Yeah, hundreds of amateur radio operators. That's right. I'm not sure what the number is, but as of Thursday night, we've made contact with almost 100 amateur radio stations uh, around Australia, in New Zealand, and in Utah, in the United States of America. So this event is getting around the world. 
and each one of those radio stations will receive what we call a QSL card, that is a confirmation of contact card, which is particular to this event. It is a one-off, and however many contacts we make over the next couple of days, that is all the cards that will ever be issued, except for one, which is a complimentary card being sent to the Royal Flying Doctor Service Station uh, up in, I think it's in Broken Hill. So they were the people who sent us uh, information and images which you see displayed in the hall, and we decided that that deserves some recognition, so they will be getting a confirmation card as well. Um, I think, having said that, uh, the Historical Society should probably get one as well. Oh, okay. um, but we'll, we'll negotiate on that job, right? <laughs> um, okay, I think that was all I had to say. Thank, uh, thank you. Thank you all the game. Well done. Go inside, I'm recording. <laughs> the uh, radio people on the game. Only in Quite a few people around. Oh, yeah. It's a wonder that uh, a rugged little aircraft like that. Just get in and have a closer look at the equipment here. It's the uh, radio setup.